You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have with me Jeff Miller from Signature Healthcare, Brockton Hospital, That's if you right. don't know the name. <laughs> um, Jeff is back. Uh, last year we talked about the Champions Fighting Cancer Walk, and you guys are at it again. We're here again, 16th year in a row. Wow, I can't believe it's 16 years um, because that means I've been here a long time. I've been here 21 <laughs> years. And it started out, I remember, uh, Mr. Sullivan. I can't remember his That's first right, name. That's right, Bob Sullivan. Right. Bob Sullivan. I should know Bob Sullivan. You know how many Bob Sullivans there are? <laughs> Bob Sullivan is the city councilor, but That's Bob right. Sullivan is Sullivan from Sullivan Tire. That's correct. And That's his correct. wife, Christine. That's right. I'm right? Okay. Yeah. She, uh, you know, she used services over at... Yeah, she unfortunately lost a... Uh, lost her battle with, with cancer. Mm -hmm. And Bob is connected to the hospital, been on our board of trustees for, for many years. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand, he approached the president of the time and said, you know, we should do something to raise money mm -hmm. to help patients fighting cancer in, in this community. And he came up with the idea of this, this Champions Fighting Cancer Walk, and we've been going at it strong for 16 years. Now, I noticed it has a new... Uh no pun intended, footprint on it? That's right. That's okay, right. tell us about uh, a little slight different variation this year. Yeah, we had a, we actually started that last last year. Our previous logo was a star and it was, mm -hmm. uh, it was a good logo, but it would kind of had um, passed its time. We came up with this logo of a footprint and the purpose, in the footprint there's many different ribbons and it says our ribbons tell a story. So cancer has many colors. There's many different types of cancer and they all have their own their own color. So we came up with something that represented both the walk and, and the different types of cancer that we're, we're battling. Now we got the date, Sunday, May 3rd. That's correct. Okay. Um, time and place, it's different places. You can you can have an express walk or you can have a full walk. Tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, so there's, there's a registration for all walkers is at Brockton High. Mm -hmm. Starts at 8 o'clock or any time between 8 and 10.30, someone can come and register for the walk and begin walking. So that's the 4.5 mile route from the high school. You can park your car there and walk down to the hospital and we have bus transportation that brings you back to the high school afterwards. And if you want to do the, the mini walk, we have vans that take you down to City Hall, and you walk from City Hall down to Brockton Hospital. Okay, and um, usually we have pretty good weather. I think we've, you know, out of the 16 years, I think most of the 16 years have been bright skies. From what I hear, the first, the five years I've been here, we've had good weather every time, and I'm expecting it's going to be the same for the sixth. Now, uh, pre-registration ahead of time on the website is that. Yeah, well, you can. Best way to do so it. we have a we have a uh, Champions Fighting Cancer Walk dot, dot org is our website, and you can actually go there and uh, set up a team and have people join your team online, or you can um, just let us know by a phone call that you uh, you want to register for the walk. We can sign you up over the phone, or you don't really even have to register if you just want to show up. We have a lot of people who. Mm -hmm collect money for the walk from their family and friends and they just show up the morning of the walk, they turn in their pledge forms to us with their money and they get on their way. Is there a, any kind of a minimum to get No involved? minimum. Okay, no, and yeah. I guess the first X number of people, is there like a t-shirt or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I believe that, that the t-shirt, if you raise a, if you raise $100, mm -hmm. you, get a, you get a free t-shirt. If you raise 500, you get a sweatshirt. I'm not sh exactly sure if my numbers are 100% are correct, but then you can also purchase t-shirts and, right. and sweatshirts and things like that at the, at the walk. And you have a big bash at the end of the walk. We do, remember, we right? do. So we have, we're fortunate to have a, a couple of employees who our entertainers, they, they play in a band, and uh, Dr. Dale Ellenberg and Wayne Reynolds, one of our employees, they they're, have their own band going, and they are gracious with their, with their presence. They donate their time and get their group together and uh, play at the end of the walk. And this year, we're, we also have a health fair mm -hmm. at the end of the walk, so you can learn about different things happening at Signature Healthcare and in the community. And this year, we're, we're adding a lot more to the end of the walk for the kids, so we'll have some bubble bounce uh, set up and we'll have a rock climbing station that uh, will be set up. We have um, a game trailer coming in for an hour or so at the beginning uh, from 10.30 to 11.30. They have another commitment after that, but the kids will be doing, uh, you know, the dancing games and, mm. and um, 
maybe Guitar Hero and some of the other things that they, they offer for the kids. And we'll have other activities and games, face painting and those mm -hmm. types of things going on during the, during the event. Um, about how many people do you expect? I mean, you've had record numbers. It keeps growing. Yeah. We're hoping for a couple of thousand people. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to keep count of, of the people because when people come to register, they walk in. Sometimes it's one or two people who register for the team. So at the end, we try and have a clicker and count people, and we're, we're getting close to 2,000. So we're hoping for, for 2,000 people or so. When they get to the end of the walk, uh, they also there's food, food there, and so they can relax and enjoy some good food and the entertainment, and the kids can play some games. Um, I know a few people that have been involved. We had the opportunity to interview them in the past. I, I remember Perrette, who came in here back a couple of years ago. I know Mary Waldron talks a lot about signature yeah. health care, and uh, we're, we're just getting done with a fundraiser that she's doing. Right, um, well, tomorrow. Right. <laughs> um, you have some champions that advocate for other champions. Any, any other people that you might want to mention in the community? Well, I just got, I just um, left a, a sort of a kickoff event for a company in Randolph called Stacy's Chips. Oh yeah. And they've been raising money for us for the past five years. And mm -hmm. in five years, they, they're a PepsiCo company and they have a matching gift program. And, and between the money that they've raised and the money from PepsiCo, they've raised $85,000 for us over that short period of time. They're geared up, they're ready to go, and they're, they're coming back uh, strong this year to, to help us with the walk. And there's just so many people. You, you know, Mark, the walk is, it's called the Champions Fighting Cancer Walk, but the walk is really about people mm -hmm. paying tribute and walking in memory of people who, who they've, they've loved and they miss in their lives, mm -hmm. who have battled cancer, some are currently battling cancer. So the walk is really about people it's not so much about cancer. Cancer is a, cancer's a bad disease, we know that. Mm -hmm. But the walk is really about people remembering, supporting, and helping other people. Perfect way to end. Thank right. you. Thanks, Jeff, for being here. Thank you, Just Mark. Just going to do a quick recap. Um, Champions Fighting Cancer Walk, Sunday, May 3rd, uh, starting in the morning over at Brockton High School registrations from 8 to 10.30. You can walk from Brockton High School to Signature Healthcare. You can go to... Um, City Hall and do an express walk um, and you can walk alone, you can walk with a team, just raise money, remember the people you love and remember the people that have survived as well. That's right. You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people and faces right here on the City of Champions.